Hi guys, welcome to the very first episode of the True Crafting Crew. Today we will be refilling up Epson Workforce cartridges. Um, in order to do that, you need three simple things. You need these trusty cartridges, you need these syringes with the needles that come with the cartridges, and you also need ink. So we have our HOV Plus Up ink, it's here. Um, there's four that it comes with. It comes with a yellow, a black, a cyan, and uh, a magenta. But our ink is amazing. I, I, I don't have to tell you guys that have used it. It is absolutely amazing. My name is True um, to introduce myself. And I don't stand behind crummy products. I have taken um, a lot of time and energy and effort to come up with this great product. To t I've tested so many different um, vendors and manufacturers and this is the best that I've come up with so I would like to share it with you guys I also want to show you guys how to um, do the initial feel for these cartridges it comes with of course the cartridges the syringes and then you need the ink our ink comes like this I didn't want to take it out the package before um, so because I wanted to show you exactly how it comes in order to release the package it has a tear I don't take I don't usually tear it, I ain't gonna lie. I use I cut everything. But you could definitely tear. I I cut all my packages. So that's just a personal preference. It has um a little slit on the side here. You can see on both sides where you can actually pull and tear. So it's if you wanna cut, it's fine. If you wanna tear, that's fine too. I'm a cutter. <laughs> <laughs> um anyway so throw that in the trash we have our ink here our ink comes all of our ink i don't show y'all this comes sealed so there's no spill um so what we'll do first is actually i'm only gonna do one color today because once you did one color you just do the same repeat the same steps for the rest of the colors but um the syringes i'll show you how to do that you'll take a syringe and a needle and you will place the needle on the bottom of the syringe what you'll do is you'll place the needle on the bottom of the syringe and that that works just like that and the next thing that we will do is we will puncture the top of this with this needle if y'all can see, this needle is not sharp at all. It, it's a very dull tip, but you'll just tap it in there and that's all you need. We'll do that and we'll just place our ink inside. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tilt this bottle slightly and I am going to move our syringe up very slowly because I don't, I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna have air bubbles. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to place our needle inside and we're gonna tilt our bottle slightly and we're gonna draw up on our syringe very slowly so that we don't have any air bubbles. And I'm gonna go up to about six mils and then stop. So now that we have our, our um, ink placed inside of our syringe, what I wanna show you guys is our, our cartridge. Our cartridge has has two holes on the top. Y'all can see. One is clear and the other is blue. It doesn't matter the color because depending on um, the cartridge that you get, you may not, whether you get it from me or someone else, these cartridges may be different. So what I do is I will take an empty needle, a, a needle that has nothing in it, and I will pop out this other plug. So what I'm gonna tell you so that you know which which thing to fill up with ink. The vent hole does not get filled with ink. Only the, the plug where the ink gets inserted. The, the way that you're gonna know which one is the one that you put your ink in is you have this tab right here that you, uh, that you use to release and, uh, and to place your ink inside of your printer. The opening that's closest to that is the opening that your ink goes in. So I'm gonna re recap on that. The opening that 
is closest to this little lever right here um, is the one that you want to place your ink in. And so to do that, we're going to, I'm going to hold this at an angle and I'm going to place my syringe inside. And I'm just going to fill it up slowly with ink. That ain't bad, huh, y'all? It's easy. It ain't bad. It's easy peasy. I'm pushing the ink in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show y'all a technique because I like to purge and prime my cartridges twice. I, I know that it may be overkill, but I'm telling y'all, it's going to save you a lot of cleaning times and, um, and, and, else, and other things if you do this. So what you'll do is you will remove this, this needle from the top of your syringe. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna place the syringe without the needle on the top of my cartridge. I know that this sounds weird. You're gonna push it on there, you're gonna push it on there pretty tight. And I am going to lift up and pull that air out of there and let it go back down. I wanna lift up, sometimes there's some resistance and what that is doing, there's a mechanism inside of these cartridges that, that primes the lines. So when we we're first filling up these cartridges for the first time, there, um, there are like these, I wanna say like, um, uh, what is it called? There's like um, a mechanism in the inside of these cartridges that um, it does not get primed. So when you're filling them up, they're like air pocket holes in the inside. So when you are, when you put this on top and you pull this up, you causing that ink to put, to go through those, those lines. And so after you do that, you kind of just squeeze it off. And then we'll put our needle back on. And another thing that I use are gloves. I always use gloves when I'm messing with ink, no matter what. I, I literally just pulled these out um, earlier today and one of them had ink on it. And I was upset because I didn't have my gloves on first. And um, I had to use our cleaning solution in order to get, get the ink off my hands. So. All I'm saying is use gloves. I will post uh, where I get my gloves. I get these from Amazon. I'll post a link below also for that. But I'm gonna fi finish filling this up. So I'm gonna tilt the bottle a little bit. And you don't have to, um, you don't have to take this, um, that silver piece off the entire part. I just leave this little hole because I less mess as possible. Yeah, I'm clean. I like to keep my my work area clean. I like to keep my hands clean. I'm a pretty girl. I don't want to be dirty. I don't have ink on me or nothing. So just, if you anything like me, just try to keep it as neat as possible. So we're going to put this needle back in here. And I'm going to turn it around so I can see a little bit where, so that we, I don't overfill this. But I just want to make sure that y'all can see that I'm filling it up to the top. I'm filling it up to the top and boom, that is it. So we had a little bit more ink left in here and I will probably just put it back in my bottle. That's it. And our ink cartridge is filled. So what I would do now is I will put this plug back on the top here. So this is the other, so I told y'all I prime it or purge two times. Once um, halfway through and I do it from the top my next way to do that is from the bottom. And I'm going to show y'all how I do that. Um, there, So any brand new cartridge is going to have this opening. Do not peel this plastic piece off, y'all. That is an absolute no-no. Do not pull this off. The other thing that you can do is, the other way to purge this line is you can poke a hole at the bottom of this cartridge. And then what we're gonna do is, we're going to remove the vent hole part. So this is the little vent hole right here. Sometimes guys, the vent hole could have be clear. So just remember the vent hole is furthest away from the tab. So the piece that's furthest away from this tab right here is the vent hole. We're gonna remove the, the 
plug from the vent hole. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take one of these napkins that I have over here. These are very absorbent. I would definitely suggest having some something that's absorbent. If y'all got bounty, paper towels, whatever you use, but I, y'all do, <laughs> I work on my motorcycle, so I like, like I said, I like to be clean. <laughs> um, I have these that I actually wipe my hands off with. Um, so I use these and I'll post that link for those also down below. But what we'll do is we'll take our needle off with um, with the um, with the paper towel. And with the, like I said, the bin hole plug is out. We will place our syringe at the bottom of the cartridge. And y'all can see here. What I'll do is I'll pop this off so y'all can see what it's doing. Y'all see that? And what I'll do is I'll remove some ink. And so I'll go really slow. Uh-oh. And this is, I am priming this line. And what this is, some, it's hard to do. It's hard to pull, y'all, to get this ink out of here. But what this is doing is this is pulling the ink through the line so that it'll prevent you from having to do all of those cleanings. And some people only do this one time, either from the top or the bottom. I do it twice, only to make sure that our ink is flowing through here properly. So after we get about, I guess about three milliliters of ink out, we'll close that up. We'll put the plug back onto the vent hole. I'll put our needle back on to our syringe. And I'll use the one that doesn't have anything in it and I'll kind of pull the plug out of the, um, the ink portion and I'll put that ink right back into our, um, you know, at an angle, put the ink right back into our, um, our cartridge. And again, this is used for the Epson workforce 7710, the 7720, the 7610, the 7620, the 3640, the 3620, the 7110, and also the 7210. Um, I know for sure it works for those uh, workforce printers, but these cartridges will work probably for a couple of the Epson printers also. And I'll have a list down below of all of those um, printers that these cartridges work for. And, um, and then the last thing, the last step would be just to pop this back on onto the side here and then we'll put our plug back onto the top of our ink all i'm gonna say is remember this right now i have both the plugs on and our ink is filled when you're placing this cartridge inside of your your um printer be sure to take the vent hole piece out the vent hole is on the opposite side and it's away from this tab make sure you pull this vent hole piece out when you are going to run the ink through your printer don't forget to do that. I have forgotten to do that in the past and no ink is coming out. And so that is epic fail. The other thing I want to tell y'all to do is be, be responsible about this. And what I mean by that is, is know your ink. Because what I've done in the past, this is a, pro, this is a trial and error here. I'm not telling y'all to do nothing that I haven't done or made a mistake myself. So um, letting the ink run out. And then I have to reprime and, and redo cleanings and all of that and order head cleaners and all that to get that ink running through my system proper, properly. Um, be, be sure to check your ink. When, you, when your ink is less than halfway, you need to refill your cartridges. If you refill in one, fill all of them up. Don't, don't wait until one says empty or it says empty to fill your cartridges. Look at your cartridges before you're printing. You should be able to get about 100, 120 prints out of these ink cartridges. But if you're running a job and you know your job is 200 cartridges, go look at it. When you're about to um, do a job, look at, go look and see where your ink is basically before you start your job because you don't want to run out. When you run out, it just it takes so much time to keep doing head cleanings and printouts and all of that that just does not make sense when you could just make sure that you have enough ink and it's going to be flowing through your system like you need to the other thing is on my sublimation printers i do not turn them off i keep them on the system comes on 
you know, does its little tick, 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 whatever it's doing. <laughs> but I don't turn my sublimation printers off. Um, the other thing that I have here that I use is our sublimation um, print head cleaner. Our print head cleaner comes with these nozzles and a syringe that you can actually push the solution through your um, through your machine to clean your machine. I actually use this solution and cleaner to for cleanup. So if I get ink on my hands, if I get ink on on um, on the table or if I any anywhere, alcohol works. But this to clean up. But this solution works also on cleanup. Is inexpensive. I think it's like thirteen ninety nine or fourteen ninety nine. Um, on our website at www.houseofvinylcrafts.com. If y'all have any questions, please let me know. Um, look, we are all crafting together, so um, this is going to be fun. And that's it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Um, go to our, our website, www.houseofvinylcrafts.com, and um, pick up some ink, pick up some paper. This is our sublimation paper, HOB Plus Subs. It comes in an eight and a half by 11, eight and a half by 14, 11 by 17 and 13 by 19. The paper is amazing too. I, like I said in the beginning, I stand by my, my name is true. It's for a reason. I stand by my products. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good day and see you later.